Welcome amazing one, join me in this tutorial as I teach you how to solve this beautiful exponential equation. It's so easy, relax. I will take you through it step by step. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comments. Let's do this together. So we're going to begin this with our solution. Let's repeat what we have. 2 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x is equal to 130. Now, we can make this to share common base. We know too well that 8 is the same as 2 multiplied 3 times, which is 2 to the power of 3. So, repeating what we have, we have 2 to the power of x. This will give us 2 to the power of 3 is raised to power x is equal to 130. Now, remember quickly, for every a to the power of n raised to power n, it's always a to the power of m multiplied by n, which is a to the power of n raised to power of m. So this, the power can be switched. Just observe, we switch the powers here. So in that case, we are going to have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x raised to power of 3. These two are the same. Is equal to 130. Did you observe anything? You notice that 2 to the power of x is repeated. So we can just quickly say, let 2 to the power of x use any variable of your choice to replace. So we can use y to replace this. Substituting this y here, we have y plus y cubed is equal to 130. Now, this is what we call cubic equation because the highest power of this y is 3. At this point, there are a lot of methods you can use to solve this equation. I'm going to show you how to do this using the factorization method. And if you want to learn how to do it using the long division method, I will leave a link still on this on the comment section. Let's do this factorization method together. Now, if we're going by factorization, we're going to restructure 130 in such that we are going to find a number that when we cube that number and add that number to the cubed, it gives us 130. Let's go by try and error. Let's go by when you say the number is 2. So we have 2 plus 2 cubed. Remember, you get those numbers from the factors of 130, both the positive and negative. So let's go with positive now. So we have 2 plus 2 cubed. 2 plus 2 cubed is 2 multiplied 3 times, which is 8. This is not close to 130. We can go by 3. So we have 3 add 3 cubed. This gives us 3 plus. This will give us 27. It's not also equal to 130. Now we can go from when the number is 4. So we have 4 plus 4 cubed. This gives us 4. This gives us 64. It's not also equal to 130. Now let's look at that number being 5. So let's check when the number is 5 plus 5 cubed. We have it that this is 5 plus 5 cubed is 5 multiplied 3 times to give us 125. And when we add this, you see it gives us 1 third. So that number is 5. Now that I've gotten one of the numbers, it makes the work easier. So to continue solving, we have... So we're going to rewrite this 130 to be 5 plus 5 cubed. So we're going to have y plus y cubed is equal to 5 plus 5 cubed, replacing 130. So let's move these numbers to the left. This is positive. So we have y, taking this to the left, we have minus 5 plus y cubed. This will give us minus 5 cubed is equal to 0. These two are together. These two are together. So we're going to have y minus 5. Plus, for this, just remember, this is your difference of two cubes. For every a cubed minus b cubed, it is a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. So we are going to apply this on this to help us to factor. So in that case, we are going to have y minus 5 into y squared plus, multiply this to you have 5y plus square the 5, you have 5 squared. We obey this. Remember, everything is equal to 0. So from this point, we are going to have y minus 5 plus y minus 5 into, we have y squared plus 5y 
5 squared gives us 25 is equal to 0. Now remember that these two are together and this is on its own. Did you observe anything? You observe that y minus 5 is common in the two parts. So we're going to factor it out. To keep solving, we have y minus 5 factored out. We open a big bracket. Use this to divide this. When a number divides itself is 1. So it gives us 1 plus. Use this to divide these two. It takes up this. So we are left with y squared plus 5y plus 25 is equal to 0. So let's change this. Now, we keep simplifying. We have y minus 5 into y squared plus 5y. We can add these constants together, which gives us 26 is equal to 0. Remember that if a, b is equal to 0, either a is 0 or b is 0. So at this point, we can have that y minus 5 is equal to 0. So let's get y. To remove negative 5, add 5 to both sides. When you do that, this goes off. y gives us, add this, you get 5. And this gives us the first value of y. Now let's solve this. This Looking at this, this is your quadratic because it has power of y is 2. So let's solve this to get the values of y. But we have to be careful so that we don't work with complex solution. So we're going to test for this to see if it gives us complex or real. Join me and let's do that to have. So solving this, we have y squared plus 5y plus 26 is equal to 0. Now to check if this gives us real or complex, we need to test for the discriminancy of this. So for discriminant, you have it that b squared minus 4ac. If this is greater than or equal to 0, it means we are going to have real solution. But if our discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, is less than 0, it means we are having complex. And with that, we are going to reject this solution. So let's test for this. And to do that, remember, your a... It's always the quotient of your y squared, which is 1. B is quotient of y, which is 5. C is the constant, which is 26. So plug this in this statement. We have the discriminant gives us 5 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 26. So we have B is, this gives us 25. When you multiply this, you are going to have 104. So if you simplify, you are going to have, subtract this, you have negative 79. And you see that negative 79 is a number that is less than zero. So it gives us a complex solution. So in that case, we are rejecting this solution. And if we reject this, it means we are going to accept y being 5. But remember, we are not asked to find y. The question wants us to find the value of x. So let's solve for x to have. Let's recall, we said 2 to the power of x is equal to y. So for when y is equal to 5, we are going to replace to have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5. Now at this point, we cannot express 5 as powers of 2. So we, what you just do is to take log of both sides. So you take log of both sides. Now remember that for every log of a to the power of x, it's always x log a. The power multiplies the log. So we're going to apply this rule on the left side to have x log 2 is equal to log of 5. Now to get the x, you divide by log 2 and you divide this by log 2. This takes off this. So we're going to have x is equal to log of 5 divided by log of 2. Now, if you want to leave this in decimals with the use of your calculator, just quickly press the log of 5 in your calculator. So we have x is equal to 0 0.6990, then log of 2 is 0 0.3010. So quickly divide this, it gives us. So we have x is equal to 2.322. So this gives us the value, the numerical value of x. Now, if you want to leave it in a logarithmic form, we are going to have, just remember, so we have all. Remember that for every log of a divided by log of b, it's always equal to log of a base b. 
So if you apply this rule here, we are going to have x is equal to log of 5 base 2. So this gives you another value of x in a logarithmic form. And this one is the numerical form. I hope this really helps you a lot. Let's know how much. And if you are still new, don't forget to hit that subscription button. Telling us how this helps you, helps us to improve more. And sharing it helps the algorithm to send to more people that need this skill. Thank you for always choosing to learn to real. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.